Hey, everybody, welcome to the AI Guide, where we focus on the human impact of AI and focusing on that today is about how humans misperceive things, including AI. So what does that mean? Let's check out a cool article from Vox on this subject. So the article is called What Two Years of AI Development Can Tell Us About Sora. So my viewers know that Sora was just released. It's text to video, which is a whole new application of generative AI. And let's hear what they had to say about Sora. If you want to know the future of OpenAI's latest tool, take a look at MidJourney and Dolly 2. It starts out. Remember when AI art generators became widely available in 2022? Less than two years ago. And suddenly the internet was full of uncanny pictures that were very cool but didn't look quite right on close inspection. Get ready for that to happen again, but this time for video. Last week, OpenAI released Sora a generative AI model that produces videos based on a simple prompt, not released to the public yet. It's uncanny, mesmerizing, and weird and beautiful, and prompting the usual cycle of commentary. So what did they mean by that? Some people are making strong claims about Sora's negative effects, expecting a wave of disinformation but while I and experts think future powerful AI systems pose really serious risk, claims that a specific model will bring about the disinformation wave have not held up so far. Others are pointing at Sora's many flaws as representing fundamental limitations of the technology, which was a mistake when people did it with image generator models, and I suspect will be a mistake again. Just as Dolly and ChatGPT improved over time, so could Sora. But the conversation around Sora and generative AI would be more productive if people on all sides took into greater account all the ways in which we've been proven wrong these last couple of years by AI's development. This is why I thought this article was so important. Two years ago, OpenAI announced Dolly 2, a model that could produce still images from a text prompt. Comments like real art, fake art, a threat to artists, a tool for artists, a disinformation machine. Two years later, it's worth a bit of a retrospective if we want our takes on Sora to be better than they were for Dolly 2. Dolly 2's release was only a few months ahead of Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, two popular competitors. They each had their strengths and weaknesses. Dolly 2 did more photorealistic pictures and adhered a little better to prompts, while Midjourney was artsier. Collectively, they made AI art available at the click of a button to millions of people for the first time. Much of the societal impact of generative AI then didn't come directly from Dolly 2, but from the wave of Im image models it led. Likewise, we might expect that the important question about Sora isn't just what Sora can do, but what its imitators and competitors will be able to do. Many people thought that Dolly and its competitors heralded a flood of deep fake propaganda and scams that would threaten our democracy. Those calls now seem to have been premature. Most propaganda continues to be of a more boring kind, for example, taking remarks someone made out of context or images of one conflict shared and mislabeled as being from another. Presumably at some point, this will change, but there should be some humility about claims that Sora will be that change. But the place where it seems most crucial to me to remember the last two years of AI history is when I read criticisms of Sora's images for being clumsy, stilted, inhuman, or obviously flawed. It's true, they are now. Nearly identical criticisms were, of course, made of Dolly 2 and Midjourney, at least at first. 
AI experts argued that the inability of AI to handle compositionality or instructions about how to compose the elements of a scene reflected a shortcoming fundamental to the technology. In practice, though, models got better at fulfilling highly specific prompts and users got better at prompting. As a result, it's possible today to create images with complex and detailed scenes. Today's image generators can do hands and crowd scenes just fine. In the time between Dolly 2 and Sora, AI image generation has gone from a party trick to a massive industry. Many of the things Dolly 2 could not do, Dolly 3 could. And if Dolly 3 couldn't, then a competitor could. That's a perspective that's crucial to keep in mind when you read predictions about Sora. You're likely looking at early steps into a major new capability, one that could be used for good or malicious purposes. And while it's possible to oversell it, it's also very easy to sell it short. It's worth admitting some uncertainty about where this is heading. This technology will keep improving by leaps and bounds, more likely than to guess the specifics of how it will play out. So as usual, a few comments about this very interesting article. One is that the premise of the article is completely correct. Many of the predictions you hear about a specific AI capability prove to be wildly wrong. And usually for the reason that they mention, it doesn't take time into account. Now here is an interesting example of the difference between AI and earlier technologies. So the iPhone has been around for 22 years now, taking it from iPhone 1 to iPhone 15. So it has taken 22 years for the iPhone to very significantly improve. Now notice something interesting about the earliest AI image generators that are talked about in this article. It only took two years, not 20, for dramatic improvement. That is because, as we've talked about here on this channel constantly, AI is an exponentially improving and developing technology. So it is progressing 10 times a factor of 10 faster than the iPhone has. That is stunning. So that's a major point. Number two, because of people's very poor, well-documented ability to predict the future, people are particularly wrong about exponential things like AI. What AI will be able to do in two years is not predictable from what AI can do today with Sora or with anything else. Two years is an age in an exponential technology. And the third thing I think to remember is most of what you read or hear, and especially what you see on the internet, is dead wrong. We talk about this frequently. That is one of the main reasons that I started the AI Guide. The main reason is to prepare you for a radically different future that is upon us in the medium term. What is that three to five years? In the next three to five years, things will happen that are completely mind-blowing, that have been in progress for many years, but will finally come to fruition in this next three to five year period. But beyond that, the other reason that I started the AI Guide is to separate fact from fiction. And in fact, if you go back the four years, this is the this month is the four year anniversary of the AI guide. If you go back four years, our predictions have been mostly accurate. Not everything, of course, but great majority accurate. That is why you can rely on us to give you this straight scoop. So I 100% agree with the last thing that this article said which is that it's much more predictable and probably correct to say that Sora is going to evolve in terms of capability very, very quickly the next two years rather than predict a specific outcome from it. Generative AI is here to stay 
and it's in its infancy. It is two years old. In people development terms, it is still a baby. It is unbelievable what this technology will unleash as it matures, and that includes the possibility of AGI. I have said that I'm not sure that it is a direct precursor to AGI, but it is definitely on the path to AGI. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please click that link below and contribute on Patreon. Small contributions go a huge way on this channel to improve what we're doing and bring you live cutting edge events and AI. So thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.